Hey there, cellos and basses. We're going to start off our lesson this week by warming up playing the D major scale. We are going to play the D major scale in dotted half notes. That means that we have to hold each beat for three counts before we move to the next note. Don't forget that when you get to the top of the scale to repeat your high D. Nice work. The next song that we're going to look at is the spring song. We are going to clap through the rhythms for spring song first. Ready and uh, here we go. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we are going to sing through the spring song on our note names. It starts on D. Ready, here we go. D, E, F sharp, D, A, A. D, E, F sharp, D, E, A. D, E, F sharp, G, A. D, E, D. All right, let's take a look at this song. You hopefully have noticed that uh, this song uses the first five notes of your D scale. D, E, F sharp, G, and A. All right, in the first measure, the song is asking us to play that those first three notes of our D scale. D, E, F sharp. Then you're going to lift your fingers to go back to open D. And skip to A, which is open for cellos, and first finger on the G string for basses. Let's play that first measure together. Ready, here we go. D, E, F sharp, D, A, A. The second measure of the song is very similar to the first. You're going to play D, E, F sharp, then move back to D. But instead of playing two A's in a row, you're going to play first finger E first. Let's see if we can play measure two. Here we go. D, E, F sharp, D, E. Great. Let's look at the second line. The first measure of the second line starts on open D. All the song is asking us to do is play up our D scale notes, and when we get to A, we're going to play two quarter note A's instead of moving on. Start on your open D. Here we go. D, E, F sharp, G, A. Nice job. Now all you're going to do is move back down to your open D and you're going to play open D, first finger E, and then a two beat open D. Here we go, last measure of the song. D, E, D. Great. Let's see if we can run all the way through Spring is Here. And if you like to sing and you want to sing and play at the same time, you can do that as well. That's what I'm going to do. Don't forget the repeat at the end. Here we go. 
go. Daffodils are blue, grass and trees are growing. Take a walk in giant spring is here. Daffodils are blue, grass and trees are growing. Take a walk in giant. Now we're going to take a look at French folk song. This song is very similar to the D scale that we warmed up with today. There's going to be three beats in each measure. Um, so that means that when we are playing, we're either going to have three quarter notes in a measure, or we're going to have one dotted half note that's worth three beats in a measure. We're going to clap through the song first. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Let's see if we can sing through the note names for French folk song. It starts on high D. One, two, three, here we go. D, 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 C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, A, G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, 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 D. D, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, A, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, E, D. All right, this song starts on high D. So cellos, that's gonna be your fourth finger on your A string. Basses, this means that you need to start in third position with your fourth finger on your high D and your second finger on your C sharp, okay? We're gonna play three high Ds followed by three C sharp. So everybody get either your fourth finger in third position on your G string basses or your fourth finger on your A string cello set up for high D. Just those first two notes, three Ds followed by three C sharps. Here we go. D, 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 C sharp, C sharp, C sharp. Now we're going to play B, C sharp, D, and then A. Basses, that means you're gonna have to start with your fourth finger on B in first position, and then shift up to third position for your C sharp, okay? Starting on B, here we go. B, C sharp, D, A. Awesome. Okay, in the second line, basses, you're gonna play open G three times, followed by four finger F sharp on your D string. Cellos, your finger pattern for this one is the same as the top line, the first two measures of the top line, except you're moving it over by a string. So, basses start on your open G, cello start on your fourth finger G. Let's play the first two measures of the second line. Here we go. G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, three E's, E, E, open D. Awesome job. Now, let's look at the third line. I hope that you notice in the third line 
that we are playing the same three note pattern three times. The three note pattern is D, E, F sharp. So we're gonna play D, E, F sharp three times and then add our G on top of it. Fourth finger, four cellos, open G for basses. Starting on the third line, open D, here we go. D, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp up to G, G. So for cellos, starting on measure 13, your finger pattern is going to be one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, open A. Bases, yours is going to be one, four, open G, one, four, open G, one, four, open G, first finger A, okay? So this is just sort of like we've added a finger onto the pattern that we played. Right at measure 13, start with first finger E. Here we go. E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, A. Great. Now, the t uh, very bottom line is going to start again on that high D. So, cellos, you need to make sure that you have four fingers down on your A string. Basses, you need to get yourself into third position with your fourth finger on high D. Okay, basses, you're going to play fourth finger in third position, second finger in third position. Then you're going to shift back to first position to play fourth finger B. Okay, this is just like our descending D scale, except you're only going to play one time on each note. So start on that high D, fourth finger, here we go. D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, back up to E, back down to D. Awesome. Let's see if we can play French folk song all the way through now. This song has a long introduction, so listen and I'll count you in. and bases. I'm really proud of the work that you've put in during these online lessons. Um, I know that it's been a while since we've seen each other and I wish we could see each other more but I was glad to hear um, from some parents of students uh, about the practicing that they've been doing at home and I hope that for those of you who've been practicing that this has been fun for you um, and I want you to take to heart the message in the spring song, right? It's getting nice outside. The weather is lovely. So in between, when you're getting your work done and whatever other responsibilities you have at home, please take some time to get outside and enjoy the nice weather with your family. I know that I've been trying to get out as much as possible as the weather's been getting nicer. Although we've had some crazy weather too, back and forth with it being cold and warm. But as it continues to get warmer, Please try to get yourself outside to enjoy um, the outside and to get some fresh air. And as always, I hope that you and your family are staying safe and healthy. And I can't wait to see you again. Bye.